All right, guys, good morning. We're out here uh, Palm Beach County trolling today. Hopefully I got my uh, sound, my audio issues fixed. I was talking to the uh, VIPs on Patreon about that. So uh, guys, listen, see what you think. And uh, we've been trolling for an hour, uh, and uh, we got a fish on. Let's see what it is here. Darcy's reeling it in. You can see right here. And I uh, wow. want you guys to hit that subscribe button, please, make sure. Also, make sure the notifications are on. That's that little bell. Uh, click that. And uh, let's see what happens here with this fish. I am hooked up to our first fish of the morning. We started trolling very early this morning. We got out here um, the first daybreak, first light. And basically, we're just trying to get on these fish and get an early morning bite before it gets too hot and the fish go down deep and they shut off and they don't bite anymore. But we've been trolling seven lines and one of our outrigger lines just got hit. And this fish took a smoking run. Absolutely smoking run. At least smoked off 100 yards on his first run. And uh, I'm gaining back up a lot of my line now. He's getting close, but hopefully we can get it to the boat and find out what it is. Bonita. I really didn't think it was, but you know, that's why it's fishing. You really never know what you're hooking. And this fish just took a smoking rod. It's a decent Bonita, uh, but we got to get lines back out and catch some more fish. Hey, Darcy, did you see that gaff floating in the water? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as soon as that fish came overboard um, in the that boat. That monster fish you caught? That Brian you, let go. She thought it was yeah. a wahoo. Yeah, I honestly <laughs> thought it was a good fish. That's why I didn't say anything. I didn't know what it was. We just got a hit on one of our uh, rods, so I need to re-rig a ballyhoo real here, real quick here. So I'm gonna show you guys just real quick how we do it and show you the rig uh, super fast. All right. So anyway, this is a ballyhoo. Uh, this is a standard uh, dead bait for trolling. And first, you gotta prep the bait. Now there's a million things on uh, YouTube on how to do this, but basically you're gonna squeeze this so the poop goes out. I'm gonna do that over the side, and then you're gonna bend this tail around. And there's a bunch of ways to do it. I just squeeze it and then do this and then and see now it's wiggling all right now uh, I get just to make it a little bit easier I like to um, I like to stab the bait with the needle which I just lost oh here it is and so I put the needle through the top of the uh, the nose here that helps me in a minute and then I also like to scoop the eyes out a little bit so the wire is going to go through that uh, it makes it easier for me too all right so there's that now I got my little rig here, and now I know, you know, everyone sells all kinds of crazy lures and chuggers and all kinds of things, but this is really the simple way. Uh, this is just like, whoa! We got a little fish on. Nice. <laughs> all right, we're gonna have to get back to that value section for you guys. We got a fish. That was exciting. We're getting a lot of bonitas today, um, which at least we're catching fish, but not really what we're targeting. But anyway, where I left off, where I had libered up the bait and got the poop out, and uh, remember I poked it with needles in, in, in the eyes and in the nose, all right? So let me get right to the rig. Now, this is a very simple rig, okay? And uh, I was saying before, I know there's all these types of lures all over the place, but very common, this is just a little soft chugger head, all right? These are like five bucks. You can get them in various colors, and some people will tell you it doesn't even matter what color, but. Uh, Typically uh, in South Florida, pink, uh, blue and white are the main go-to colors. And then this is uh, green, which is a Mahi color, which is another uh, favorite color, all right? I'm using a 40-pound fluorocarbon leader. I made this rig myself. We use Tsunami fluorocarbon. You know, I use 40 pounds. I know it's light because we don't have, you know, it's hard to get a bite around here. We got a lot of pressure from other boats, so we got to tackle down. In the Keys, you know, we're using 100 pounds and fish are biting all day. Uh, then I got that, again, a very simple rig, just tied right to a hook. This is a Mustad, I believe it's a 3407, but I will, you know, uh, put a nice little picture of that right here. And I just got that tied on with a uni knot uh, to this long shank, 3407. And, and then I just got a piece of copper wire tied right on here. Okay, so that's about a really basic rig. 
Uh, you can also do pin rigs and buy rigs and, and do all kinds of great stuff. But again, this is just something you can just make on a boat in like seconds. All right. So let me just grab that ballyhood, ballyhoo. All right. So I got my ballyhoo. Basically, I want this eye to come out right, to be right around the head here. And then now I measured where my hook's going to come out. Typically, I'm just going to put a little hole here for that. All right. There we go. That's what's coming out. Then. I'll try and show you, you're going to work this down, boom, 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 come out where that hole is, you see that? All right, now I got the eye and the eye lined up, good. We're going to take this, this is old copper, so it might not stick through good, oh, I got lucky, all right. So now you know why I poked out the eyes before, because this is a pain in the butt for me to get through sometimes, especially on a rocky boat and just doing that helps. All right, so I got that around. Then I'm going to stick this through the, that hole I made in the nose hopefully you see it's old copper and sometimes that gets a little messed up but that's how it is on a boat okay it's through the top you see that right here all right now we're going through we're going to keep this leader on the nose and we're just going to wrap it now keep that mouth shut all right one two three and then just wrap it right up this nose all right nice and tight i usually like to use a lot of copper because when you mess it up you have extra copper all right, now here you go. Now I got my bait in here. I got it. it's nice and rigged. All right, let's bring this. Uh, gonna bring this top down. And this one has a hole in the top, which I like. I'm just gonna stick that beak through here, theoretically, if I can. Beak's a little short, but it's stuck in there on the other side. So here's my rig. All right. Now, very important thing to make the swim right. It's got a top on it or a hat. I like to call them. So it's going to swim pretty decent, but mainly you don't want it to pull from here. You want it to pull from the head. If it pulls from here, it just, like, it's going to create a little bend in this and it's going to spin. So you don't want that. So always put your baits in the water first. And if it's spinning, just cut. You can cut that little piece. I'll show you with my bubble blade knife. You can just cut this right here a little bit and give it a little more slack so it doesn't pull on the hook. It pulls on here. All right. There's a bubble blade knife one of our great sponsors and uh, then you're gonna throw your line and you're gonna test it alright and again if it spins you're gonna make some adjustments and if it doesn't spin you're gonna send it out don't just send your bait out there without looking at it first especially if you guys are getting those pre-rigged ones alright which is a Guggen move you want to make your own rigs man alright let's go fishing and we got a fish we do? whoa <laughs> way cool hey on the and for all the X-Rap, whoa, he's shaking like crazy. Whoa, 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 okay, let's... We need him. Black fish. Black fish, black fish, black fish. Thank you. Whoa! Black fish in the boat. That's a nice black fish. Woohoo! All right, and we're going to show you this uh, lure that we use to catch it, but everyone recommends these lures. They're supposed to work really good. This is the first fish we've caught on this lure, and I'll show you in a second. Let me get him off. Awesome black fin. This is a this is a decent size for around here. Not as big as those ones that I was catching in Louisiana. And if you haven't seen that video, please check it out because we caught some slob yellow fins over there uh, and black fins. But we'll this is a, it, we're gonna link it right here. Yeah, link up in the corner. So check that out if you haven't seen it. But gorgeous little football. He's gonna be delicious sushi tonight. Awesome. Now let me show you the lure. So this is the lure we caught the black fin tuna on. And once again, this is the first lure we have ever caught a this particular color and lure we have never caught a fish on it super stoked but a lot of people have recommended it here in our area and one of our favorites team controlled chaos captain james he has recommended this and a lot of people like to pull this real short right behind their boat a lot of them like it in their prop wash and you can catch wahoo like that big dolphin black fin tuna kingfish you name it you can catch it on this lure so we just proved that this works we're super happy and this color is great. We got recommended by this color from James, so we bought it. And this is a Rapala X-Wrap Magnum 30. If you're interested, I'll link it down in the description below. Check it out. You got anything to say, Frank? Salad Frank, this is your big chance. I'd love to see this be about blackfin. What'd you say? I said I would love this to be about blackfin. He would love this to be a blackfin. I'm standing right next to him. I can't even hit a kid. <laughs> Again, this is my man, Frank. He's single. I told you that before. That better be a blackfin, Frank. I think it is. Cool. Frank got a blackfin. And that's my little tuna feather. Catching blackfins. 
green on this water. Is that it? Wow, he's jumping all over. All right, bring those lines back in, Frank. Yeah. Woo! He's jumping. He's greyhounded back there, going nuts. Wow. Wow, look at him. Wow. Not stopping. Stop. He's greyhounding like crazy. Yeah, you're gonna have to get that. Wow! Dude, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose line. I'm gonna get over there. He's jumped about 15 times. That's incredible. Still going. Wow. Alright, that's... Sorry I couldn't get uh, more shots of that sail, because it just took off. And I got a wide-angle lens on here. But the thing took so much line, we had to get Darcy up on the bow. All right, starting to get line here. But Frank's driving the boat, going forward. But this fish took so much line and created such a belly in the line that there's just so much pressure and drag on this line right now. So we got to get it in gear and get to this fish. I also don't want to kill him. And a lot of times these sailfish get worn out very quickly. He must have jumped 20 times at least. So this is an active sailfish. And at this point, we're just trying to get him to the boat, and we're going to try to get a safe release on him and uh, let him swim away. Okay, got my gloves on, and uh, Brian just held onto the rod so I could get my gloves on, take off my shirt. I'm hot. It's super hot out here today, and we got the sailfish close now. Gained a bunch of line on him, and hopefully he's still green enough and he's going to live. Um, I really like to, you know, make sure that billfish are released properly. I hate seeing people, you know, with fish out this, with this beautiful fish out of the water and four or five people holding him and saying he was released. A lot of times these fish don't make it. So he's coming up now. Got him real close. Beautiful fish. That's a full grown sailfish right here, guys. Woo! Check him out. Look in the corner. Come on, Brian. Got him. Got him. Watch out. Okay, we mistakenly identified this fish. We thought it was a marlin, but he's all lit up. He's green. I realize it's a sailfish now. Pulled up the sail. He is gorgeous. Full grown sailfish were around here. What a heck of a fish. And he's ready to go. He's real green. He's healthy. He's kicking. So we're gonna let him go here in a minute. And then we're gonna catch some more fish. All right, ready buddy? I think he's ready. I'm just gonna push his head down into the water here. Push him away from the boat. All right, three, two, one. There he goes. All right, we're getting lines back out, but I wanted to mention, you know, I just showed you guys about that $5 um, chugger head, soft plastic chugger head that uh, it said it only cost five bucks. And that's what we just caught the sailfish on is this pink chugger. So, uh, you know, that's what Darcy won her Lady Angler tournament with. That's what we caught fish today. And that's what we just caught that sailfish on. So, you know, those little thing works. Just the basics works. You don't gotta go crazy out here and buy the most expensive thing in the whole wide world. All right, we're letting Frank reel on a fish. Uh, Darcy's of course been hogging all the rods. But uh, we just got another Benita on again on that same uh, little chugger head with the rigged, uh, rigged ballyhoo. Benita! <laughs> We're in about 350, hopefully it's a, a yellow, uh, not a yellow fin, a black fin. We're just going to miss ID all the fish today. We're catching marlins and yeah, yellow right, fins today. Marlins over here. <laughs> that was my idea. I don't know. It, it, it looked really green and the thing was down and it was big. So anyway, but it was a, it was a sailfish. We always hope. I can't hear you, Sizzle. It was a monster sailfish for this area. But he had me second guessing what kind of species it was. But once I picked him up, I saw his big old sail. Yeah, that helps. Blackfin eating ballyhoo. <laughs> we've got all these blackfin, like we've got tuna lures out, squid chains and little feathers and stuff. And he wanted to hit a big old ballyhoo. Pretty.
All right, let's wrap it up. Fish on. Oh, we got a fish on. <laughs> we're, just start, we're just wrapping up the video, guys. And I think my dark and mine just got a fish on. But um, it's about 11 o'clock, so it gets really hot. And so we're wrap, just wrapping it up real quick. And she might have just got a fish on, but we'll see. But uh, real quick, we got seven lines out, two in the outriggers, uh, two on these tees right here. And these tees these usually go straight out. And then we got uh, a lip diver here. And I got my planer over here. I do a planer over here, Frank. Thank you. <laughs> over here, Frank. I, see, Frank can't, it's also messing up my camera. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding, Frank. Uh, so I have this on a bridal planer system, which we're going to go over in, in a future video. But uh, that's really it. I want to make sure you guys subscribe to videos. Take it away, Darcy. Yeah, subscribe. Make sure you like our videos, as always. And we do have t-shirts available now with this logo. Yeah, we changed guys, the logo. I know you guys have been asking about it quite a bit. So our actual <laughs> t-shirts that we wear, um, check it out on the website. I'm going to link it down in the description below. But t-shirts, long sleeves. Unfortunately, there's no UPF shirts, but there is moisture wicking shirts and uh, stuff, for, uh, stuff for outdoors that's not made of cotton. And uh, so check that out. Just go to the website. There's all kinds of shirts. Yeah, and we, performance t-shirts. And our patrons and all you guys have been asking, but just this on the front. And so that's what we did. Yeah. And don't forget the bracelets, right? Yep. Check out my bracelets, anchor bracelets, fish hook bracelets on my website. So thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you. And until our next video, follow your dream and keep on catching. Catch